Hey guys, in this video I will show you how you can create a bottom navigation bar like this. So as you can see here, this is something like a Pinterest app bottom navigation bar. So if I click on this search, so uh, it shows the search toast and if I uh, click on favorite, so it shows the favorite. So let's open up your Android Studio and create a new project and go to main activity dot xml and uh, change this layout to a coordinate layout and i will change this uh, text view with bottom navigation view okay so it will be a uh, match pattern and i will close it and as you can see here we have a bottom navigation here so to move this to our bottom location we just have to type gravity and enter bottom and i will uh, give a background color to our main layout so you can see the bottom navigation here as you can see here so i will just give a margin of from all side 30 dp so now it is more visible okay so we need uh, these uh, four icons for this bottom navigation and to add these icon in the bottom navigation we have to create a menu but first i will uh, add the icons so to add the icons right click on rivals go to new and vector asset and from here this is our shopping cart so i will just add it and i will go to this again and i will select home add it as well select for favorite and the last one will be search okay so now i will create a menu in my resource folder so right click on this uh, go to android resource file and select menu from here and i will name it menu bottom okay and we'll get a menu and now we will have to add our items here okay so the title will be home and the icon will be the home icon is we have added from our asset and i will copy this and paste it three times more one two three okay now i have to change this to search and i will change this icon to search the third one will be favorite and I will change this to favorite and the last one will be called our cart so I will change it to shopping cart ok now um, we have created our menu and now we will add this menu to this bottom navigation view to add this menu just simply type menu and as you can see here menu bottom and this adds our menu to the bottom navigation bar so uh, we have to remove this uh, title from here this label so to remove this label simply type label visibility mode and unlabeled and as you can see here we don't have any label here and uh, i will set the icon size sorry uh, size item icon size to 30 dp and i have to add a background to this uh, bottom navigation view so the corner will be rounded okay so to add a background first we will create a background in our drivables and uh, i will name it uh, nav bg nav background and here i will sel select this and change this to shape okay and inside this simply type shape rectangle and inside this we have to create an item of solid sorry solid and the color will be white i will close it and we have to add uh, another item of corner and we will define radius here 100 dp okay i will close it and now we will add this background to our bottom navigation view so to add this background name bg 
and as you can see here we have a rounded corner uh, bottom navigation view here so now uh, I will add uh, item selector so when the user select the item so it will change uh, its color to black like this as you can see here and we will set all uh, the unselected uh, as a disable or transparent like this okay so to add this uh, we have to add uh, icon tint and I will just write here dribble uh, item selector and we don't have any item selector XML file so just click on this and click on this uh, red bulb and create drivable resource item selector and uh, root item will be root element will be selector and here we have to create three items one for state pressed true so i will define a color color will be equal to black sorry black okay i will copy this and paste it two times more okay paste paste it and i will change the state press to state checked so if the state check is also true so we will change the color to black and here the third one will be the default color and i will change it to the default color like d2 d2 and it will be the unselected color like this okay so now if we go to our main activity xml so as you can see here uh, we have our bottom navigation view ready and i will just give an id to it id of bottom sorry bottom nav okay and uh, we have to set an elevation here of so we will set elevation app elevation to 4 dp now i will <coughs> initialize this main activity to initialize it simply type bottom navigation view i will name it uh, bottom nav bottom nav and i will initialize it here <coughs> bottom nav find view by id bottom nav and i will set a select item select listener so uh, bottom nav that set on navigation item selected listener new i will change this to true i will return true from here and i will just simply show a toast message with the item name so to get the item name we will simply write item dot get title okay now if i run my application but first i will close this one so i will close this one and i will run it from here okay as you can see here our app is running and as you can see if i click on search okay to remove this ripple we'll just simply type ripple color and you can give it any color but i will uh, give it a transparent color okay 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 
transparent okay and i will run it again and just close it now if i click on set so as you can see here we have no ripple effect because it is transparent now so that's it for this video guys and if you like this video please share this video with your friends and if you are new to my channel so please subscribe to my channel for support